my friends, it's Lisa and welcome to a new vlog. So first of all, ignore the very messy, questionable French braids happening right now. I am very bad at French braiding my own hair. I'm just bad at doing hair in general. <laughs> but the thing is, is I have an older sister, so I've never really needed to know how to do my own hair. Now that she's not really home anymore, I'm out of luck. So we just have questionable French braids. Thank you for ignoring them. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I would vlog this week. Don't know what I'm going to be getting up to, but I thought I would take you guys along with me. Um, it's going to be like super rainy and cloudy and sad this whole week, but that's okay. That's why it's very dark in here. I mean, I could turn on a light. That would help but it's just going to be such like a crappy week. So I thought I would vlog to make it a little bit better for me. <laughs> so let's catch up. What have I been reading? What have I been watching? Let's have a little catch up. So last night I finally finished watching the K-drama that I've been watching for like a month or two now, and that is Romance is a Bonus Book. I kind of kept putting off the final episode because I just didn't want it to be over. And as expected, I cried a lot. <laughs> I cried because there were some definitely like emotional scenes, but there was also just like the end. Just, I don't know. There were like happier moments too. And I was just sobbing because it was the end. <laughs> but yeah, I really loved it. It's hard because I've only watched one other K-drama, which was It's Okay to Not Be Okay. And I don't know which one I preferred because they're very different. I feel like the tone of Romance as a Bonus Book was a lot more like fluffy and lighthearted, whereas It's Okay Not to Be Okay was a bit more, uh, sad. <laughs> just the tone was a little bit more like serious. So they're very different, but I feel like I might have liked Romance as a Bonus Book more. I just love the fluffiness and the cuteness and I just, I loved the characters so much. I'm very sad that it's over. I immediately last night was like, do I just start it over from the beginning? Is that what I do now? Um, but yeah, that's done now and I'm very sad about it. But I think what I might do is get back into watching Gilmore Girls. I started season two got like five episodes in and was like, okay, I need to change a pace here. Those types of shows, it's like they're fun and cozy and cute and everything, but it's like the level of excitement kind of stays the same. And it's like, okay, I need like drama. I need something a bit different. I need a change of pace. So that's when I started rewatching Stranger Things, then watched K-drama. But I think I'm going to go back to that. But as for what I'm reading, I'm currently listening to the audiobook for Bridge of Souls by Victoria Schwab. This is her like middle grade series. And for some reason, I like randomly remembered that I hadn't read the third book yet. And the audiobook was on one of the apps I used through my library. So I've been listening to that. I'm almost done. I think I have like a little over an hour left of the audiobook, so I plan on finishing that today so I can get it done this month. And then once I finish that, I need to go and grab the book. <laughs> I think what I'm going to read next, I'm finally going to pick up The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I can't believe I haven't read this yet. I got this book like the day after it was released. I think the day it was released, I couldn't get to the bookstore and I was like panicking about it. I was like, I don't have it in my hands yet. And then the next day I went and got it and I haven't even read it yet. So what was the panic for? We don't know. But I have been participating in the Buzzwordathon every month, which basically is just like a reading, readathon, reading challenge thing <laughs> hosted by Kayla from Books and Lala. And you basically can do it like as a reading challenge where every month you read a book with the buzzword for that month. So June is to read a book with a name or like a title in that. So like an actual name like Addie LaRue or a title such as like Mr. Mrs princess, queen, daughter, mom, things like that. So I thought it would be time for me to pick up Addie LaRue. I'm very nervous. I think I'm going to like it, but I feel like I've been seeing a lot more negative reviews as of recently. I know a lot of people initially really loved it. There were some negative reviews initially, but it was mostly positive, and now I feel like I'm seeing a lot of negatives, so I'm scared, but I'm excited. <laughs> Other than that, I don't have a very exciting week planned. I definitely need to do some laundry and like clean my room because my room is starting to get messy again. I don't know what happens, but all of a sudden it just becomes this huge mess. It sneaks up on me somehow. So I need to do that. But yeah, I just wanted to say hello and start this vlog and I hope you enjoy coming along my week with me, whatever I may get up to. <laughs>
keep coming down my street and it's freaking me out because they keep stopping right in front of my house. <laughs> I think it's just my neighbors, but it's freaking me out. Anyway, <laughs> hello friends. Happy Tuesday. So I thought I would update while I had makeup on because this does not happen very often. So you're welcome. <laughs> But I just got done filming a video, so that was good. It did not take me very long to film at all. It was like my summer TBR video. I think it took me like a half hour to film, and it probably took me longer than a half hour to get ready. So that's kind of annoying, but it's fine. I wonder if you can hear the birds chirping. I just opened my window, so there you go. This vlog clip is already a mess. <laughs> But I just wanted to update you guys because I did finish Bridge of Souls by Victoria Schwab last night and I realized I'm reading two Victoria Schwab books back to back but that's fine. <laughs> but I finished Bridge of Souls and I gave it four stars. I think this is just a cute and like spooky middle grade series. It's just a lot of fun. I listened to the audiobooks so I think that added to the experience. I don't know if I would have loved them as much if I like read them physically but the audiobooks were cute. There were different voices for some of the different characters and it's also like, it's kind of spooky actually for a middle grade, so it was still like entertaining to read while also just being overall very cute. So I think I gave all three books four stars, so I'd highly recommend if you are interested. But next, I think I'm going to be picking up The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I'm very excited, still nervous, but very excited. And I was going to start it yesterday if I felt like it, but I didn't feel like it. So we're going to be starting it today. Hopefully I am reading it for the Buzzwordathon for June. So I think technically you're supposed to finish the books in the first week of the month, but it's fine. So I'm going to try and get it done in the first week. I think I'll be able to do it. Um, I'm excited to start it. I have a feeling I'm going to need like my like annotating supplies and tabs and stuff because I feel like there's going to be a lot of really beautiful quotes in here that I'm going to want to tab but we'll see. See, so yeah, I'm going to be starting this. Um, also last night I watched a couple episodes of Gilmore Girls which is the first time I've watched Gilmore Girls in a couple of months and it was just really easy to like get right back into it and continue on where I left off. I think that's what's great about that show is that it's so easy to watch and just so cozy so got sucked into that for a few episodes. But yeah, that is my update for right now. I think I'm going to go and make a smoothie because I've been really in the mood for a smoothie recently. So I think I'm going to make that and then get settled in and start like editing the summer TBR that I just filmed. And yeah, I think the smoothie will help motivate me to do some editing. <laughs> later it's almost 3 30 and i have finally started the invisible life of eddie larue you can't tell what it is just looks like a black book and i did bring my like annotation stuff down just in case i want to tab it i am using actually some leftover tabs that i had from when i read chain of iron as my bookmark i used a lot of tabs with chain of iron but i might use these tabs just to use them up for this book because I feel like I'm going to want to tab like really beautiful quotes or moments because I think the writing is going to be really beautiful and just a lot of quotes that are really nice. So I might annotate it but I'm not like going to do like hardcore <laughs> annotating with all the different colors and everything but that's there for me to use if I want. Uh, so far I'm only on to chapter three I think. I've read the first two chapters so not many thoughts. Um, I feel like the story is still being set up a little bit. We've been introduced to Addie and we're seeing her kind of struggle with her being forgotten a little bit. So I'm just excited to see what's in store. I'm ready to cry. <laughs> but also I just wanted to quickly mention and talk about how I'm not going to be doing monthly wrap-ups. I know that's a bit of a change of topic here, but I just felt like I needed to like say something about it and not just like stop posting them and have people be like, where are the wrap ups? Not that anyone would care that much, but I figured I would still say something. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I'm doing monthly wrap ups anymore. I have just come to realize I really don't like them. I don't know if you can hear the screaming children. I apologize. You probably can't, but they're very loud. <laughs> but yeah, I've just come to realize I don't 
really like filming them. I was doing them when I first started my channel, dreaded doing them, so I stopped, and then I tried doing them again. This year, I did them for four months, <laughs> and then that was it. I was gonna try and do a vlog style type of wrap up for April. I was just gonna like kind of update a vlog type of thing every time I finished a book and kind of give my thoughts that way. And I did it for the first like four books that I read, and then I gave up after like the first like week or two of the month. So that didn't work, and I just think that if I have books that I've read that I want to talk about, I'll film a video talking about those books. But if not, then I'm not going to do a monthly wrap-up. Like, I just don't enjoy doing them, so I thought I would let you know in case you were looking for them. I just don't like doing them, so why would I film a video that I don't enjoy doing? You know? It just doesn't make sense. So I thought I would let you guys know about that. But yeah, I think I'm just going to go back to reading. I just wanted to update and say that I have officially started the book. It's finally happening. I'm finally reading Addie LaRue. I can't believe I waited this long, but I'm excited to keep going. Once again, have very questionable French braids. Someday I will learn to French braid my own hair, but until then, this is what happens. <laughs> but hello, it is now Thursday, and I just wanted to kind of update you guys. I don't think I really talked to you at all yesterday, and I wanted to talk about Addie LaRue, which is what I'm currently reading. I wanted to talk a little bit about it. So I think I'm on to page like 90 or something. I'm at the beginning of part two and the uh, tabs that's being my bookmark just fell out. <laughs> but yeah, I am almost 100 pages in and so far I am liking it. I'm just still very nervous because I feel like it's one of those books you either love it or you hate it. And so far I am liking it. There's a lot of moments with the writing that have been very beautiful. There also have been a lot of moments with the writing that have been a bit repetitive. Like they've mentioned the fact that Addie has seven freckles that look like a constellation like 50 times. <laughs> Which I imagine that becomes relevant because on the cover there's like the constellations with the seven stars. On the end pages they're there and like at the beginning of like the chapter headers they're there. So I imagine the freckles or maybe the seven stars like that must be relevant at some point. I imagine. I mean, and it is a cute detail. Like, it is cute that she has seven freckles that look like a constellation, but I don't need to be reminded every five pages, you know? So there's been a few things that have been a little bit repetitive, but I'm still liking it, and I still think the writing, for the most part, is very beautiful. So I'm excited to see where this goes. I just met Henry for the first time, which is character I've heard a lot about. I know Darian loves Henry, so I'm excited to see more with him. But yeah, I'm liking it so far. So far, so good. I'm gonna try and finish it over the next few days. I hope I can do it because I'm like not even 100 pages in. I think it's like 450-ish pages, but I should be able to do it. We'll see. <laughs> I'm also waiting patiently, but not really, for my hold on Dial A for Aunties to come in because I basically placed a hold on that on Libby like the day it was released. I think that's when it was really added to Libby. It was like the day or the day after it was released and I've just been waiting and this has been the one time that Libby was like accurate with when it's going to come in. Normally it'll say it's available in like two to three weeks and that means like any day now I could be getting it. Like it'll say two weeks and I'll get it the next day. But with this book it's been actually accurate so I've just been checking Libby like every day waiting for that book to come in. Um, so that'll be what I read after Addie LaRue. But I'm very excited to read it. It sounds wild and I just I just want to read it like right now. <laughs> Other than the reading update, I have been watching Gilmore Girls. I did get up to like episode 16 or something of season two. So the good thing about that show is it's very easy to just like get through the episodes. Like I find that I'm watching like three to four episodes a day. <laughs> it's just super easy to watch and super cozy. So loving that. But yeah, other than reading Addie LaRue and watching Gilmore Girls. There has not been a whole lot of exciting things happening over here, so I'm just gonna get back to captioning this video, and yeah, that's really it. That's all that's been going on. <laughs> Howdy! It is now Friday, so I thought I would come on and talk a little bit more about Invisible Life of Addie LaRue as well as like my plans for the weekend and for the day today. So with Addie LaRue, I am on page 180. I started a chapter this morning and I guess stopped in the middle of it. I don't know why I do that, <laughs> but I am liking it still. 
I can see why people aren't, like, loving it when they read it, because not a whole lot is going on. Like, it's definitely, like, more of a character-driven story. Like, it's more about Addie and, like, her journey being, like, immortal and also having people not remember her. It's definitely more about that than anything else. Like, there really isn't that much of a plot. So I could see why people don't love it. I, however, am definitely more of a character-driven person. Like, I love when books have both characters that I love and a plot that I love, but I would much prefer reading a book about characters that I love and have it be more character-driven than, like, plot-driven. So I'm not hating that aspect. I will say I'm still, you know, cringing a bit every time her freckles get mentioned. I imagine that this is going to become relevant. I might have said this yesterday, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I imagine the freckles are going to become relevant, and they already kind of are. I feel like the the star freckles are how she's being, like, identified in history. So, like, there was, at one point, there was, like, a painting or something, and she was in the background, and she had the freckles, and, like, they could easily identify all the other people in the painting, but they had no idea who she was. She was just the mysterious girl with the star freckles. So, like, I get why it's a detail, but I just, I still don't need to be reminded every five pages. And I think Victoria Schwab knew that it was a cute detail, <laughs> that it was a cute thing that, that, this main character had that the, she had the star freckles and she's like you know what i need the readers to know just how great of an idea this is and just how cute it is so i'm gonna remind them every five pages and i simply think that that is a little too much but still i understand i just it's every time it's mentioned i'm like please i know i know but other than that i am enjoying it it's not like five star feels yet um i would say it's more of like a four star right now maybe um, but I'm not even halfway, I'm like close to halfway, so there's still a lot more book for me to read, so we'll see what happens, and I hope I cry because that's the whole point of why I'm reading this. Everyone cries at the end. I want to know. I want to cry. If I don't cry, I will be disappointed. <laughs> but my plans for today are kind of cleaning my room, organizing my room, doing laundry, not very fun stuff, but I definitely need to clean my room. Like, my room is kind of a mess. I have a ton of clothes, like, on the floor. I need to go through my clothes. I need to do laundry. And, like I said, I need to go through my clothes because I might be going shopping this weekend. That might be a thing that's happening. So I might get some new stuff for my wardrobe because I definitely feel like my style has changed a lot. And, I mean, with the past year and a half being kind of in lockdown and at home, it didn't really matter. But now that we're... Where I'm at, things are opening up a little bit more and I'm leaving the house, I'm going, oh, I don't really have a whole lot of things that I want to wear out. So I definitely need to update the things that I have, but I need to go through the things that I have because it's not that I don't have clothes. I have plenty of clothes. I just don't have a lot that I want to wear. <laughs> so I need to go through and get rid of some stuff, get some stuff ready to donate. So that is my plan for today. Not very excited about it, but it needs to be done. <laughs> and I also want to go to Barnes & Noble at some point this weekend because so many books came out this past week. The one that I'm like freaking out about is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Like I, it's been out since Tuesday, it's now Friday, and it's not in my possession. I don't know what to do with myself, <laughs> but I'm super excited about that book. And there were so many new releases this week and also just books that I've been wanting to buy recently. Like there's so many books that I want to get, so I really want to go to Barnes & Noble and spend money that I shouldn't, but it's probably going to happen anyway. So that will be happening hopefully this weekend. Some shopping. Maybe I will take you along. I once again am bad at vlogging when it's outside of my house, but I will try. <laughs> pausing, the cleaning and organizing to go shopping. Heck yeah. <laughs> so that little shopping trip I said was going to be happening this weekend actually happened last night on Friday. I did bring my camera. Did I vlog anything? No. Vlogging in public. It's very difficult. You gotta work with me here. <laughs> but the good news is, is I did get some clothes. I just got a few pairs of shorts because a lot of my shorts 
didn't fit me or were just really old so it was time to get rid of them and time to get some new shorts and I also bought some books so I thought I would just show you all the things. <laughs> so not super exciting, just got some classic denim shorts but they do kind of come up on the sides a little bit and they're also really long in the back which I think is really great because then my booty is covered which is nice <laughs> and I got like all three of these are mom shorts which I love. I love that mom shorts and mom jeans and things like that are in style because skinny jeans I don't like having things suctioned to my body you know so loving the mom shorts so I got these then I got the same style of shorts just in like a tan beigey color which is very different for me I normally get like denim or like black shorts so this is kind of fun this is a bit different and then the last pair of shorts I got are pretty standard light wash shorts at least you would think so on the back they actually have these cute little rainbow stripes on the butt there's a pink stripe down the center and then like the rainbow right here and they're just super cute i think they're for pride and me and my mom just saw them and i was like yep i need to get those so yeah really really like these very excited to wear them and those are the shorts now we'll move on to the books <laughs> so the first and most important book that i got was a Battle rising by taylor jenkins reed i'm so excited to have this in my hands i want to read it immediately I don't know when I'm going to read it, probably sometime this month because I'm so excited about it and I don't want to be spoiled so I probably will pick this up soon and I'm just so excited. I also got another new release. There were a ton of books that came out uh, this past Tuesday, I think the first, so I was a bit overwhelmed but I picked up One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. Also very excited to read this. I feel like I haven't been able to go on Twitter without seeing someone talk about this book or see fan art about this book. So. I'm also very excited to pick this one up. I keep saying I'm excited. It's just true. <laughs> and then the final book that I got at Barnes & Noble was Heartstopper Volume 3 and everyone say it with me. I'm so excited. <laughs> I recently reread Volume 1 and then read for the first time Volume 2 so I really want to read this as soon as possible. I might even pick it up next week. Who knows? I just I need to read it as soon as possible because I haven't stopped thinking about Nick and Charlie since I read the first two. So yes, very excited to have this and very excited to pick it up. So these were the few books that I managed to pick up at Barnes & Noble yesterday. A lot of very colorful books here which we love to see. And yeah, I'm hoping to read honestly all of these this month because I'm so excited about all of them as I said every time we talked about them. So hopefully I will read these this month. And now it's time for me to go because I opened my blinds and turned my fan off to film this clip. It's very hot in here. It's like 90 degrees out today. It's going to be 90 I think for like the next few days and I don't love that. It's too hot. <laughs> so I'm going to go and turn my fan back on, sit in front of it for a little bit. But yeah, that was my haul I wanted to show you guys. And let me know if you guys are planning on reading any of those, if you've read any of them, if you've liked them. Let me know all your thoughts on the books that I bought. It is now Monday. It's time for me to wrap up this vlog, but I did finish The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue last night, so I wanted to kind of talk about my feelings first. So I did give this four stars. I'm just as surprised as you are that it's not a five star rating, but I think part of the problem is that I just put way too much hype into this book. Like, obviously a lot of people were hyping this book up and a lot of people have been really loving this book. There have been, you know, not so great reviews, but there is a lot of hype surrounding this book. But not only that, I've been hyping it up. I was so excited for this book. I literally got it like the day or the day after it was released and that was back in November and I just think the longer I put off reading it, the more my hype grew for it and like the more excited I got for it and I just think there was some unrealistic expectations put upon this book by myself. So I do kind of feel like I might have set myself up with that one um, just because there wasn't anything that I necessarily disliked. I will say the ending like I kind of predicted what was going to happen like halfway through the book not even halfway through the book I think I predicted what was going to happen and I will say there are parts of the ending that I wish were a little different or we got to see certain things a little bit more. I just feel like there's certain things that could have been changed to be a bit more impactful 
or just like things I wish we had seen because like the last like two paragraphs of this book are wild and it's like it's the end of the book like that's it so I wish we had seen that or something had been changed where there was a little bit more of an impact because I did not cry that much when I read this book I know people have been like sobbing I was expecting the sob because I'm fragile <laughs> but I like at most got a little teary-eyed like I didn't even have a tear roll down my cheek I just got a little misty-eyed and that was it and we all know that I sob very easily so I don't know what happened I think that was just like my biggest thing like even though the ending was not exactly what I would have wanted there still wasn't anything that I disliked I think I was just not emotionally impacted by this book in the way that I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to finish this book and need to like lay down for several days and not think about reading another book for a while and just like I was just ready to make this my entire personality <laughs> and I just I literally finished the book and put it down and was like a few minutes later just like okay anyways like I just I was ready to move on like it just did not have the emotional impact on me that I thought it was going to and I think because it's a character driven story I just was expecting that impact to really be there and it just wasn't. So yeah, overall, I mean, I gave it a four star, so it's not a bad rating. I did really like it. This is one where I could see my rating changing, whether like it being raised or being lowered. I don't know, depending on how I feel about it, like down the line, like it's definitely one that I'm gonna have to think about, I think a little bit more. But a four star is not a bad rating. I did like it. I just felt like a little disappointed by it and just not as like impacted by it as I thought it was going to be but I still liked it so I understand why people love it so I don't know I'm just confused but now I can say that I've read it I've put it off for a very long time Casey can stop texting me every week being like wow I can't believe you haven't read Addie LaRue yet because I've read it <laughs> oh and I also did read The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue for the Buzzwordathon for June because the buzzword for June was to read a book with either a name or a title in it so like king queen mr mrs that type of thing and so obviously Addie LaRue is a name it's the character's name so that counts and now the buzzword is on for June is complete <laughs> but yeah that is everything I think for this vlog I just wanted to talk a little bit about Addie LaRue before I close this off but I think that's it so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye